Durag Wisdom here. Going into the third week of the Birther Bastard Murderers Administration. And uh, I take heart, excuse me, from, my, from the wonderful people who have subscribed to me. I mean, I don't know how long you're going to be subscribed to me once you hear every opinion I have, but uh, for now it's fine. I can't worry about that. I also thank my detractors who I've made so angry that come to my to my page to insult the hell out of me because we live in a country that's supposed to be a country where we have freedom liberty and in the last few years we have been asleep ladies and gentlemen we have been off the job and what I mean is many of us don't vote Many of us don't get involved with our political, enough with our political process. We don't even know civics, and they should teach that in school. I've never, and I've said this before, I've never taken my liberty, my, my freedom in this country for granted. And by all means, it's, it should be the greatest country in the world, but if you watch Michael Moore's Where to Invade Next, there's so many ideas that we have that we don't use. And you learn that from the movie. The Europeans have used it. More vacation time, gourmet lunches for kids, a better treatment for prisoners, a more sane drug policy, education policy, work policy. The problem with our country, folks, is we've been contaminated by the Puritans. I understand they fled religious persecution, but they were contaminated with the with the uh, Protestant, so-called Protestant work ethic. Uh, work by the sweat of your brow until you're dead, according to their interpretation of the Bible. And they, of course, burnt people at the stake, and uh, they're very sexually repressed, and... Uh, I mean, they, I mean, we Americans, believe me, we work and work and work and work. And when we come home at night, we're so tired. We're so beaten, so humiliated by the creep that we work for. And actually, we put that creep in power as president, the so-called boss, which I'd never vote for. I never did. And here we are, beaten. And we're so tired, we don't even have time to vote. And 50% of us in this country for this last election, the most crucial election that we've ever had in our country since the Civil War, we stayed home, 50% of us. And now this birther bastard dictator, this Putin traitor, this murderer, who just, you know, incompetently ha uh, planned the raid where, where, and, where, where uh, uh, Chief Petty Officer Owens was murdered, we have to wake up, folks. We have to get involved with our government. We have to get involved. We have to watch the political news, even though it feels like you're getting a hot lead enema. And I don't have to watch. I always say this, uh, the house of cards, because we got a maniac, a maniac, in our country's, in the, in the seat of power here in our country. And we're the, actually the seat of power. I mean, look at your uh, Declaration of Independence. It says in there that we have a right to overthrow our government if it doesn't serve us. That's right. Now, I don't want to overthrow our beautiful, our beautiful government because um, it's a unique experiment in a kind of democratic republic. I mean, de I mean, we, we have a uh, republic because we only have two parties. But the last thing I want to do, by the way, that's my phone, don't worry about it. The last thing I want to do is undermine the greatness of what the potential of our democratic republic is and eventually not republic, but pure democracy. We have a three branch government and this is helping to save us right now from the threat of this piece of shit, this traitor. Now, 
I want to keep my eye on the ball, and I think you should, because this is a dictator we're dealing with. We're dealing with uh, a professional dictator. We're dealing with a staff of dictator enablers and wannabes and rich sons of bitches who want to destroy everything that the other President Obama put in place. I mean, he's going to allow people that are mentally ill to have guns. He has put this travel ban. He wants to make us pay to build his fucking wall. But here's the thing, folks. You got to keep your eye on the ball. You got to keep track of everything this creep does and bring it back to him. Throw it up at him. Make him swim in your vomit of anger. This prick was put in with the help of not only... Uh, the, the GOP traitorous, totalitarian, gerrymandering and voter suppression and the fact that half of us didn't vote, he was put in because of the FBI and because of Putin. Mr. Putin, I won't be surprised if we don't open our mouths and keep protesting that that piece of shit will walk in on our stage and say, I'm your president. Because I believe that everything that's happening to us is a plan on their part to destroy us. Because in this new war that we have, you're able to use the cyber. You're able to use the, uh, the internet. Isn't that something? Someone com com compared this election thing, what happened to us, to 9-11, where, where 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 people were, were murdered. And let me tell you, considering already that an American soldier is dead and we don't know how many more, we got to impeach this bastard and his enabling party, including bitch McDumbbell. Let me tell you, they stole the Supreme Court. And if they bring in their boy, ladies, gay people, black people, workers will be gone. Because that's the point dictatorship but these bastards made one 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 mistake we're Americans folks we don't take no shit we are informal sometimes we're obnoxious but the one thing is we understand when our freedoms and liberties are being fucked with and we're not going to let this piece of shit and his agenda pass. We're not. See this shirt? Well, that's right. I remember, you bastard. You're a Putin puppet. You haven't shown your tax returns. You haven't released yourself. You haven't... Oh, separated yourself from your business, you son of a bitch. You are an illegitimate person, an illegitimate president. You stand for everything that's against our country, country Trump, you bastard. Sorry, folks, for my mispronunciation. And right now I'm speaking directly to that creep because I know he watches TV all the time. I'm an American, Trump, and I'm going to fight your motherfucking totalitarian ass every step of the way. I'm keeping track of everything you do, and no matter what you do, you're not going to control the conversation. I control it. I'm your boss. And you're fired, motherfucker!